Amy Robach is angry. She wasn't invited to Robin Roberts' wedding with TJ. Holmes, video. According to reports, Amy Robach is furious that she and her partner, TJ. Holmes, were not invited to their former Good Morning America co-host Robin Roberts' wedding. On September 8, Roberts married her lifelong partner, Amber Lane, in front of their close friends and family in their backyard. In a recent interview with The Sun, a source said that Robach and Holmes were not invited because of their contentious relationship, which led to their termination as GMA hosts. Robin and Amy had a very close relationship. Robin liked it when Amy and Lara Spencer would fight for his attention, according to the unnamed source, as reported by Madame Noir. They believed that Robin would stand up for them when their scandal surfaced, and she had the authority to do so. At a BC, Robin possessed the ability to save Amy and TJ, but she chose not to. She had the option to argue that they are two consenting adults who were separated in spite of everything, but she decided against it. According to a source who spoke with us weekly, Holmes and his estranged wife Marilee Feebig are close to settling and being finalized in their divorce, as we previously reported. Earlier this year, Robach's affair with Holmes came to light when she was married to actor Andrew Shu. Prior to starting a relationship with Robach, Holmes and Feebig were married for 10 years. She has two daughters with her former, Tim McIntosh. In addition to his two children with his ex-wife, Amy Furson, they also have a daughter together. An insider exclusively told us in March that Feebig did not know was having an affair, adding that she continues to be disappointed by his lack of discretion and respect for her and their marriage. The source continued, Feebig feels disrespected that Holmes and Robach are all over each other in images. According to the source, Robach and Holmes intend to move in together and get engaged. Robach and Holmes ran the New York City Half Marathon prior to being spotted by cameras during the PDA Memorial Day weekend in May, according to Page Six.